FNCS is going on right now and one thing we know is that there will always be some crazy clutches. Let's look back at the greatest clutch moments in the history of FNCS. Coming into Chapter 2 Season 5, the trio of Zayt, Saf and Stretch had just finished 4th in the previous FNCS, so everyone was a little surprised when they didn't make it easily to the next Grand Finals, and there was just one last chance, a single reboot game. With their drop spot housing the only RPG on the map, they used it to take height in the 50-50 zone, running out of rockets in doing so, and most would not have thought that they could hold on for the rest of the game. Somehow they did so, and ended up winning the game relatively comfortably in the end to qualify, thereby also preserving Stretch's record of going to all FNCS finals. They Saf and Stretch have dominated this lobby. They're not even let it, gonna let it go down Ooh, to a Mega healer. Dubs is in shambles. Mega's back in Storm. He finds more meds though. Ooh. He gets more splashes. He gets more floppers. Is this enough? He can pull off the double med kit. RPG they RPGs the them. They take down Dubs, but they don't take down Mega. He's deep in Storm. Stretch is sitting up. He's looking. He's got the meds, but he's also got the eyes in the sky. Who has more meds? Stretch or Mega? Mega went out deep. He went in early. He's pushing back in. He knows he doesn't have it. He can't get the med kit off. That's it. As long as Stretch heals this, Zayt, Saf, and Stretch will be going through to the grand final. Wow. Stretch holds on to his history. In this reboot round game, Ziandi and his team went for the tried and tested height play in a bid to win the game. But unfortunately, he ended up as a solo as a result on just a few HP, with nine teams still alive. Despite being alone, he fought again and again for height and somehow pulled this clutch off to qualify for the grand finals. But Andy, can he do the solo clutch? We've already seen some insane clutches here for the reboot rounds across all the regions, but this will be one of the best of all time. Is he able to hold down? He gets elimination no. already, but he loses his advantage, but he gets a knock on Steelix here. He's gonna have to hold on now. People shooting in the backside. He's gonna do another, he doesn't see him. Oh my goodness, Shio. He's gonna get the siphon and he has six cabbages. What else does he find here? He gets floppers. What a big no play way. from Andy. What a big play from Andy. What a big play! He's still going all the way towards the top. He got all the heals and position for height. ETQ versus Belusi down below. They're going shot for shot, blow for blow, and ETQ goes down. What did Belusi find? Because we know Andy's got the protein, he's got the cabbages, he's got the oh fish my. Pump, But there's still lots of time left in the storm. Two seconds for Belusi to kind of delay that pump still hits. This might just be enough. Andy, the solo man, Ruin took height. He just went all the way towards the top, clutched it with a sneaky play at the end. They've won! Kiriachi, Stormy Wright, and Toos led by 14 points going into the last game in Chapter 2 Season 7, but there were actually around 10 teams still in contention, meaning a very strong game would be required. Toos went down in the 50-50 zone and Stormy Wright followed in first moving. With 43 players still alive, it would require something special from Kiriachi to win FNCS, and with 3 medkits he navigated his way around the back of the zone as quietly as you can in this crazy game, picking off unsuspecting players as he did so. It wasn't a game win, but it was an epic solo clutch to win the grand finals. I don't see this one happening. Top five for Kiriachi. He's still pushing. He's still going. Another big pump. Oh, oh be it. He gets the big shot. This is huge. A trio in the box. He denies it. He doesn't want to get inside the pressure just yet. How is he dodging all these plays? Oh my, 50 on the Floki. A man by himself is winning EU before our very eyes. Kiriachi stopped by the Symptos, but it might just be enough to give him the FNCS Championship. We have a moment here that is probably more famous for one line of commentary than for the actual gameplay, although the clutch was seriously amazing in itself. This was from Chapter 1 Season X, Heats on NA East, where Mackwood and Kalk went down towards the end of the game, leaving Zextro as a solo. Just watch his HP teeter above zero several times as he closes out the game with four more eliminations. Winning a game doesn't get more clutch than this, and it set them up to qualify for the grand final where they ended up winning the whole thing. Is he able to find it? He gets angled, but he gets sent oh, down. Will he be able to get, get back something? Up? Pop a bandage! Pop a bandage! Zextro, pop a bandage! Son, please! Oh. Oh. Wait, don't forget, oh. he has the double eliminations for the side, but it's gonna come through. He goes down. Oh, he goes down one he HP! Son down! Son down one! Peterbot and Quanti were playing in the semi-finals of Chapter 3 Season 1 and were close to qualifying through consistency. Quanti went down relatively early, and in duos, this usually means a lack of any result in the endgame. Once he had somehow made it to the top 10 teams, he was incredibly the only solo alive. Despite this, he took height, held off the challengers, and won the entire game to get their automatic ticket to the Grand Finals. 
Peter Bot is fine too! No way! Oh my wow, this, god! This Peter Bot has down. done it! To Peter he is Bot up there. versus Cold on the leaderboard maybe, but Peter Bot might just straight up find the victory royale as he actually finds himself in the sixth place position, but Cold is now in fourth. Cold versus Peter Bot here for the sixth place position. Peter Bot comes all the way down. Oh. He's just down Tabney. He gets the second one as well. Peter Bot is incredible. What an incredible oh. play. We're now into the top three. And first we have season 19 on EU. We had the favorites Hen and Queasy leading going into the final game, but they had just a four point margin and many other teams were within reach of the title. In the first moving zone, they looked really well set to close it all out, but suddenly Queasy went down and Hen was left alone. Not content with doing just enough to win the tournament, Hen finished it off in real style with a solo clutch to remember, becoming a three-time FNCS champion in the process. Hen has everything. He's done everything. He's solo clutch. We know he has that ability. No materials left, but he still is able to apply damage. Won't get that elimination, but he will hold on. Starts to spray one more person in his way to slip goes down to the low ground. All it has to do is wait. The drop down, the beam, it's almost enough. And has it 1v1, 297 points. This is for the European Championship. All he has to do is take down walks, solidify it. He has enough points already, but do it in style, my friend. The VR is just in your grasp. Hen as a solo against the world. In second, we have a clutch where the context was as important as the gameplay itself. The biggest story of Chapter 2 Season 6 on NA East was the clash between Booger Clix Bizzle and Gabe Tahi Sprite at Sweaty Sands. While Booger's trio certainly had a lot more clout and a huge dedicated fan base, Gabe's trio were actually showing that they deserved to be there too, outplacing them in both qualifier finals that they played together. When the heats were released, they ended up together, and they predictably fought each other a lot, with Booger Clix Bizzle really struggling. There was some borderline anti-competitive play from Booger et al in the final game as they took the stance of we're not making grands, let's stop the others from doing so as well. Amazingly, Gabe, Tahi and Sprite still scraped into 17th place, the last team to make the reboot round. Finally, we reach this reboot game where Sprite ends up as a solo with Zone pulling up a hill and a whole trio still on height. Teams are waiting though, Ozzy, just lurking nearby. The oh! pull up with the harpoon, oh get gosh. up here, get the safety. He just got pulled I mean, in, it... Sprite's gonna sneak up. Oh, oh my god, Sprite might just do this, he caught Sprite. one. There's actually Wait no a chance second. Sprite does this, he pouts low. He might get the clutch. I was missing full health on low ground. Sprite, there is no way you are doing this. Sprite is on the high ground. Kalk is trying to fight him. Sprite oh my god. Potentially. Oh, oh my gosh. This no could way. Be the clutch of his career. Sprite is on the high ground. What can he do to take this? He has just taken a 1v3 against the high ground team. He is a solo no right now. Way. He has every advantage. He has the builds. He has the health. Oh my Sprite god. Sprite has done it. Gabe, Tahi, and Sprite what? win game one. And finally. Finally, in first place, we have the single most important game ending in FNCS history. Solos is a difficult game mode to play, mentally it's tough to be on your own, and then you add in the extra luck factor that comes from it, and you have a potent combination where even the best can struggle. Taysen was the solo FNCS champion from season 13, having also placed fifth in the Invitational. By the time of the All-Stars, he was a two-time FNCS champion and considered by some to be the best player in the world, but becoming a back-to-back -back solo FNCS champion would elevate his reputation to stratospheric heights. In the final game, it was clear that the battle was between Taysen and Venno, and as the game unfolded, both were lasting deep into the moving zones. Essentially, whoever outlasted the other would probably be the champion, and fate decided to take it down to the very last moment. Final moments, five people left. Vino has height, Taysen all the way in the middle. Those are the two eyes, the two names you have to be focusing on right now. Taysen is literally in a world oh of hurt, but at the same time finds two. That two could piece. be the difference. It'll have to be Vino going for the win right now in order to catch up. He's going for Erkin as well. If he gets three, that could be it. He's moving forward, forcing the placement. Taysen on all walls, but he oh sees everything goodness. through, finds it. And that concludes our list of the best clutches in FNCS history. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.